I am really honored to share the stage with powerful women, especially the youngest female head of state. Um, they said, they said we are too young to lead. I mean, I'm sorry to disappoint them, we're not. <laughs> um, my name is Aya Shebi, I am a Pan-African feminist. 10 years ago, young women like myself took to the streets and changed the course of history. What you might know as the Arab Spring, but that's a Western narrative, we call it the revolution of dignity. Because our slogan was, shughul hurriya karama wataniya. Jobs, freedom, dignity. It has always been a revolution for economic justice led by women and young people. Because poverty is sexist. Young African women today are enslaved in human trafficking. They are dying in the Mediterranean. Sexist, discriminatory, Islamophobic laws today ban young women from wearing hijab in some countries and enforce hijab in other countries. Maybe the only advantage we have since 1995 is technology. And even with the digital economy opportunity, 70% of Africa is offline. How are we gonna change all of that and add to it a global pandemic? How many of you here are not vaccinated? Not vaccinated. I am not, and I can tell you, young women in Africa do not have access to vaccines and cannot afford $80 COVID test and 150 visa euro visa fees. And many of them are not here because of that. So how are we going to change that? What action are we going to take today? This is intersectional. It cannot be fixed by creating jobs and teaching girls how to code. Poverty cuts across everything. Digital divide, exploitation, border policing. So we need to do something differently this time. We need to use this historic moment to do something differently. And my generation is calling for a new approach to leadership, intergenerational co-leadership. Because we cannot inherit systems we didn't co-design. And we're the youngest population in the world, damn it. We have the demographic power, the voting power, the innovation power, the youth-led accountability power. I don't want, as a millennial, to build back better the economy. I want to build forward with equity and feminist economics. We need to change the system because the current system does not work for us. The current racist, patriarchal, neo-colonial system does not work for us, does not provide equal pay for equal work. And the other issue I wanna raise is funding. We need to stop talking about gender equality and start funding gender equality. 40 billion, that is an amazing commitment, but that funding should go directly to women and girls most vulnerable, should go directly to organizations in the grassroots, should go to Jeff Youth Task Force who have done amazing job. Just in minute, in minute, s'il vous plaît. I just want to. I just want to end with the fact that we, as young women, are ready to co-lead with you. In fact, we developed Africa Young Women Beijing Plus 25 Manifesto with 10 bold demands. So we're coming here to ask you: Are you ready to lead and co-lead with us? Are you ready to really take these next five years to the next level? Are you ready to unite behind the young feminist agenda? Because we want progress, not promises. And generation equality cannot afford to move forward without Africa and without young people. Thank you. The last, the last thing I want to I wanna say, I'm sorry, because I'm probably the only society on this panel, and I would love to hear from the other panelists, especially on the funding issue. I am really sometimes troubled. Why is it that whenever we ask for resources for gender agenda, we are told there is a budget cut or there isn't enough? When there is no budget cut to dig up fossil fuel <laughs> to destroy the planet? Why is it that when there is terrorist attacks in the Sahel region, Countries go to fund militarization, but do not fund with the same urgency 20 million girls in the Sahel right now under the age of 18 who have no economic opportunities. So there is money, there is enough, but 
Where is it spent? How is it spent? That's what we need to do differently moving forward. Thank you.